Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, today we have finally the, oh, I got it upside down, the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. And it's been a long wait for this baby. Uh, it's finally here, December 15th, 2011. Let's open it up and take a look. And there's the phone. And inside is the usual mumbo jumbo, the uh, charger. This was where the um, LTE card was. Uh, earphones, the USB cable, and the adapter plug, and some instructions. Now this is very similar to the uh, GSM version. It's going to be a little thicker, a little over nine millimeters, uh, because of the LTE radio. It has the textured back which is very nice to have for Samsung because that's always my biggest complaint if you see a lot of my reviews is their phones are very slippery this is still slick but it's much better um, with this back um, and you can see the curved uh, screen and the thinness it's not bad at all on the left side we have the volume rocker uh, which does stick out a little bit does concern me um, so we'll see how that goes uh, you get your you have your USB here and your uh, headphone jack and your pin connectors for um, charging via certain docks and your power button in the top right nothing on the top let's just go ahead and press the power get it started and there it is Google very rarely do you see that on an Android phone only the Nexus phones 5 megapixel camera on the back which a lot of people are concerned with. It's not going to be as good as the Galaxy S2 uh, cameras. And we have a 1.3 in the front. You won't find an SD uh, card slot on this. It's 32 megabytes or 32 gigabytes though, which isn't bad for storage, but uh, no SD card to expand or to switch out. But uh, you got to be happy with 32 gigs. Uh, there's the lock screen. I got a simple uh, lock here. Um, now I've already used the phone a little bit, so it's, even though it's an unboxing, this really isn't the first time it's coming out of the box. Let's just try to face unlock here. Um, it's it actually has been working pretty good for me. We'll see if it works here. Even with the camera, I tested it a couple times before. It's going to fail now. So, I'll try it one more time. Hold it up a little closer to my face. Nope, it's going to fail. But I did test it out with the camera uh, before I started filming, and it, and it worked very well. Uh, and it's been working actually pretty good throughout the day. Now, I haven't really done much with the uh, phone. I wanted to pretty much leave it like it is out of the box. I haven't uh, put anything on the home pages. I've left it uh, pretty much the way it is. Now, um, your settings are now up here. So you have only three buttons here. Uh, actually, they're not buttons, as you know, it's a, a buttonless phone. But those are um, to navigate your back, your home, and this goes to your um, most recent apps. And the menu is a, a little bit different. The same type of options, though, in the past. We'll go to About Phone and see what we have here. And you'll see we have Android 4.0.2, so it did receive the update today after activating it. I would say within... 10 to 15 minutes uh, it notified me of the update so that is also good now I haven't um, you know just want to show you a couple things because um, I haven't really been able to spend a lot of time with the phone but you have uh, now the new folder options and right now there's a default uh, folder already set up uh, by Google and that's what it would look like but to make a folder uh, let's go into the app drawer and let's just take uh, something like email and add it to the home page here and let's just add something else uh, we'll add uh, gmail why not throw that on the home page so in order to make a folder uh, you just take any two any app and drag it over to another one and it instantly makes a folder not bad and you can name it whatever you want so I can name it Rob here for now click done and you now have a folder so when you hit it 
Bingo, that works out very nice. You can actually, I believe, remove an item from the folder just like that, and since there's only one left, the folder disappears. Obviously, if there were more items, the folder would still remain. Um, now let's look at uh, let's look at what we have for apps. It's pretty much clean. I know that Verizon is throwing in some minor bloatware. A lot of people are upset about my Verizon Mobile, uh, my our VZW Backup Assistant, and I think they feel especially the backup is important since a lot of people don't have their contacts backed up uh, properly. So they, you know, I think that's the reason why they have it there. Widgets are now found over here in the app drawer. And uh, I have none installed, but you have your basic uh, widgets here. Um, like for example, oh, and there's also resizing. Let me just throw, show you, I'll just do the weather. Actually, you have to hold it down and place it where you want. And choose weather there. And bingo, you have the weather widget. Now, let's just go to an empty screen here. And let's call up a Gmail one. Um... Gmail. We'll throw it up in here. And um, choose the inbox. And you'll see that you can resize. Whoops, I went into it by mistake. You got to long press it down. There you go. If you long press it, you can resize it, make it a little smaller make it larger depending on the room and of course you can scroll it very nice so so far I mean this phone obviously it's really all about ice cream sandwich it has a 720p display 120 by 720 or one excuse me 1280 by 720 um, and it's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor 1 gigabyte of RAM I mentioned the camera already uh, let me just open up the back here while it's on. That's what it looks like under the hood. So there we go. Close that. If I can get that closed. There you go. Not the easiest to close there. Well, let's see if the face unlock works this time again. Still not going to. Oh, it worked that time. So, um, in normal light circumstances, I think it works pretty good. So, um, I have nothing to complain about there. Um, another thing to show you is the uh, task manager and the swiping that goes on there. Uh, so you hit this here and you can see the uh, latest apps you've been using and if you want to kill something you just quickly swipe it. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Not bad. And that also works in notifications. Uh, right now I don't have any but if you have a list of notifications you just swipe it just like that. Uh, that's that's a uh, really uh, nice addition as well. There's, but there's, there's really a whole bunch of uh, additions here and you know obviously you don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to give you an initial review. So there you have it. Um, we're going to spend some more time with the phone, do a full review, and I think we're going to be doing some stories because we, we've got about uh, three other authors um, on our site have the uh, have this phone as well. So we're going to all put in some comments after 24 hours and 48 hours and all that good stuff. Also provide a full review as well. So there's going to be definitely a lot of stuff. So definitely uh, hit up the site and uh, look forward to it. So uh, for now, it's uh, until then, it's uh, Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.